The final supermoon of the year available, I'm sorry, visible after sunset tonight. It happens when the moon is at or near its closest point to Earth in its orbit. So you may notice the moon will appear larger and shine a little bit brighter. And as news for Jack's meteorologist Mark Collins shows us, there's more information about this phenomenon. Get ready for the supermoon tonight. You'll be able to look in the sky and hopefully see the fourth supermoon in a row this year. In fact, the past three months have all been supermoons. This one is called the Hunter Moon. And tonight you'll be able to see a moon that is a little bit bigger than normal and a little bit brighter as well compared to a regular full moon. This could be about 30% brighter. And really the bottom line is to an average viewer, you're not going to notice much of a difference. It's more of a clickbait story, but nonetheless, it has been making headlines since there have been three so far. The past three full moons have all been supermoons. So what is a supermoon? Well, as the moon orbits around the Earth, it has an elliptical shape, and when it's at perigee, its closest approach on that orbit around during the full moon, that is called a supermoon. The next one won't be until a year from now, and September, so this will probably be your last time in quite some time to see it. But there's a bonus tonight, and that's three other planets in the sky. If you look off towards the east, southeast, you'll see the moon, and then Jupiter and Saturn with the moon between it. Also around 5.30 in the morning, Mercury will start to come up in the sky, but it'll only be around for about an hour or two before uh, the moon sets in the morning, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to see. But the bottom line is the clouds and that's going to make it most challenging to see the super moon the overcast skies will be with us with this nor'easter and those northeast winds is timing with the full moon cycle and causing the astronomical high tides to be higher than normal and that's causing problems along our beaches for coastal flooding looks like it could be an issue through the weekend as those winds stay on shore and we deal with this super moon i'm meteorologist mark collins